Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.9 on Microsoft Windows 10. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. So go ahead and launch your preferred browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome and then go to python.org. Remember this Python 3.9 is not for Windows 7. So if you have Windows 8, 8.1 and 10, you will be able to download and install Python 3.9, 32-bit and 64-bit. So you can go ahead and check your system type by pressing Windows key and pause break button on the right top. And you can see it's 64-bit operating system. So to download Python 3.9, you simply go to python.org, put your cursor on the downloads button and then hit Windows button here. Now you can go ahead and read about the Python and download the package by clicking this button. So latest Python 3 release, which is Python 3.9.0, click on it. And these are the changes that or new feature that are part of 3.9 compared to 3.8 and just scroll down you will see a section says files and this is where the downloads link download links are so you can see these are for Microsoft Windows bottom three are for 32 bit and these are for 64 bit Microsoft Windows this is for Mac users and these are for Linux distros. Yeah. One more thing, this download is for any processor, so be it AMD or Intel. Okay. There are two types of downloads. The first one is web-based installer, which is a very smaller package. What it does, it downloads quickly and then connects your system to the download server and while you are installing it it downloads the python packages from the server uh, the executable installer downloads everything when you download it and installs from your local system so that's the difference between web-based installer and executable one so if your system type is 32-bit, you go ahead and download either executable one or the web-based one. Since my system is 64-bit, I'm going to use a web-based installer. And you can see it's a very small package. If I go ahead and click executable installer to download, it's going to take some time. So the package is bigger. I'm going to run the web-based installer. And the one thing you do not want to forget here on this installation result, this add to Python 3, add Python 3.9 to the to path. So don't forget to check this box, check it. Otherwise you will not be able to execute Python from the command line. So make sure you check this box. Remember you've got two options, the express install, the other one is customizable so you can go ahead and customize i do not like to download and install documentation so i'm going to uncheck it pip is python package manager which you need tcl and tk are for the gui package which helps you uh, program or code python gui application idle is kind of built in ide to learn python and code Test Suite is another package. Pi Launcher is another package. Now, if you're happy happy here, go ahead and hit Next. Now, this is Advanced Options window. You can leave it as it is. The other thing that you can customize, you can choose your specific location where you want to install Python by pressing C drive or D drive and then wherever you want to. I'm going to leave it as it is. The other thing, if your system is very like brand new installation or just brand new, you might not have this VS 2017, which is Visual Studio 2017 package. So if you don't have it, go ahead and hit 
this box check this box and let it be downloaded i already have it so i don't need it once you're happy here go ahead and hit install and this is going to give you another window say yes and now it's going to install the python 3.9 with the components and packages from the web because i ran this web-based installer this is completely executable so this is compiled complete package compiled so you can see this is 64 bit now it should be done in just a few seconds as you see these are the packages pip bootstrap 64 bit now once it's installed you need you don't need to do anything you can go ahead and look for idle go ahead and look for command prompt and start doing whatever you have to do with this python okay so successful setup was successful you can go ahead and close it now if i go ahead and launch this cmd and type pi version it's going to give you the python version you remember on microsoft windows you can say pi or python it's the same thing now since we have installed a few things here so you can see i've got idle so go ahead and look for idle and this is where you can get the idle so it's just trying to launch and you can run it you can write code over here oops my apology hopefully and to run the code you simply press control key and enter you can write that function exit and it will exit off here now other thing you get module documentation which is a completely new thing with this python 3.9 you can go ahead and launch it and this is going to launch the server and you would be able to browse all the packages that you get with python 3.9 you can see it now i'm going to close this the other thing you have this time with python 3.9 is this python cmd so you can go ahead and run everything here it's the same thing if you just type here pi or python you will get into the python shell and you can do whatever you want the other thing that you can do i'm going to get on my desktop and i'm going to use bash so bash is linux subsystem on microsoft windows 10 and here i can go ahead and use micro text editor which i have installed on my subsystem and let's say i want to say python.py so it's going to create a python.py file and here i can write my code i can save by pressing ctrl s ctrl q to close it and then i can run so remember this python is going to run going to be running from my linux uh, subsystem so if i type pi or python it's going to do the same thing i have set alias to it uh, and it's going to run so that's it for this video guys however everything you can do with the cmd as well so if i go to my desktop you can see i have hello.py and if i run it it's going to run this same thing so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below and i will try to answer it in ecp thank you bye for now